Hey guys, today's video is sponsored by Keeps. Does owning an unreliable vehicle make you want to pull your hair out, but there's nothing left to pull? Well, maybe Keeps can help you out. Keeps is an online subscription service that focuses on making it easier and more affordable for men to treat their male pattern baldness, all from the comfort of their home. With Keeps, you have access to clinically proven treatments that address hair loss and boost hair regrowth and delivered right to your door in discreet packaging. Keeps is convenient. You get professional care for your hair loss from the convenience of your home without ever having to go to a doctor's office Office or pharmacy. Simply complete an online consultation and Keeps will line you up with a provider that will tailor a treatment plan for your specific needs. Then treatments are delivered right to your door and on your schedule with flexibility of three, six, or 12 month delivery options. And you can pause or cancel your plan at any time. Male pattern baldness is a genetic condition that affects two of three men by the time they're age 35. So don't think you're alone. Keeps is here to help. Thanks to Keeps for sponsoring today's video and for the free product. Hair loss stops with Keeps. For a special offer and to get started, visit Keeps keeps.com slash Cletus or visit the link in the description below. That's K-E-E-P-S dot com slash Cletus. Thanks to Keeps for sponsoring today's video. Let's get to the live action. Hell yeah, brother. You're on the Cletus McFarland YouTube channel. All right, guys. Well, you know, we bought an airport and what do you need at an airport? You need fuel for the aircraft. Okay. Now I'm not saying I'm going to sell fuel. I don't really know what we're going to do, but I can tell you this fuel is expensive. And if you buy it yourself, it's way cheaper. So at the very least for my own aircraft, I bought these fuel trucks behind me and we're gonna try and get them running. I bought these babies for $8,000, both trucks. And as far as I know, one runs, one does not. I'm not sure which one it is, but we got a jet fuel truck right here, which is pretty friggin' sweet. And then we got a big old av gas truck and I bought these out of Jacksonville, Florida. We parked them here, I don't know, what was it? Probably a few seven, months eight, ago. Seven, eight months yeah. ago, yeah. And this is before I even bought the airport, before I even locked that deal in. Well, today's the day we get them running. So I got the guys here. This is the first time we have really dug into them. We've just glanced at them. I think this is the one that runs. You think? Uh, yeah, this is the closest. Uh, this one says new. diesel. <laughs> I think they're both diesel. Well, this one's for sure diesel. That yeah, this one's true. probably I diesel. I think uh, we're, they're both about to run. I mean, we're gonna have a whole <laughs> big block 460 in it. Try this one. I don't know. This one, this one sure looks right. cleaner. The rust on this one's higher, not exactly. lower. I can tell you yeah, right now, fixing, you're going to need a jump box. Look at that. 100% <laughs> need a jump box. Also, I don't know what the deal is with how you clean these, but that we had them emptied by an environmental company that comes out and takes it out. I'm fairly certain you need to clean them. What if it's rusty? Back. Well, this uh, one's a stainless. Yeah, that's a stainless. That one ain't gonna rust. Okay, that's good. This one had fuel in it when we got it, so I don't think it's rusted. All right. We just got the fuel taken out of it. It's because I want your hoses oh, look to be in good shape. Hose looks good. Got your little grounder clamp. Still got a spring in it. That's good. I got power, brother. Oh, freak! Yeah, you did. I got power. What do we got? Turn her over. You got a big in here. What is it? Shoo! Tell me it ain't a 7.3. It's not. No. It's in line. Oh, it's probably It's a big dog. If that was a 7.3, pull a house down. <laughs> We'd be yeah, putting injectors in the three. Hit it. <laughs> not enough power. Oh, oh, we oh, oh, got some hornets in there. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh, dude. dude. One time we bring a jump box with us. We, we don't, don't need, need it. it. What the heck? The light even works. Dude, this That's by itself is worth $8,000. Dude. Dude, oh, dude, dude, oh, but not fuel, brother. The doctor killer. Is that a bonanza? That's a bonanza. Oh, wow. Dang. I mean, I this, this right here is worth eight grand. This, this is We're already making money. <laughs> the question is, is the pump worth what happens if I test it with no... Yeah, I wouldn't do that. Hey, our record with PTOs around here has not been good. Man, yeah, how do you test it? You got to put... You got to test it. it. You got to test it. Otherwise, if it's broke with a full tank, then what? It's gonna be way worse. Just see if she goes wee. You're telling me they got every bit out. Not buying it. That's gotta be it, right? Open your valve. Looks like it opened. This, this sucker's crusty, dude. Yeah. I think it's already out. Ain't doing nothing, that's for sure. Yeah, I saw there was a PTO cable. Hold on. We got gauges here. Pull it. Oh! Oh, 
Oh yeah. Did it build pressure? Well, no, but it made noise. Hold on, look at the gauge. It Already? didn't. I mean, if you hold it for a second, it might. All right, hang on. That's a rough noise. That sounds like gears. Judging at the rag around. Sounds like gears. Sounds Dude. like some gear drive. Yeah, I don't like the rag around that. Uh, yeah, that might have just been gears. But Maybe you got to really snatch it in. That ain't it. All right. It, that definitely sounds like it's trying to engage. Would you guys agree on that? There we go. It, there. it just thunk. Oh, nice. Oh! Whoa. There it goes. Oh, you just broke it? <laughs> that broke the gas pedal, dude. Oh, it rusted right off of there. Now you just got a bolt. <laughs> yeah. Heck yeah. Take it for a spin, dude. Sounds like it might be dragging. Well, well, all right. <laughs> I don't know. It's a possibility he did, that's for sure. Well, you're going to have a tough time doing that, bud. running like a dream yeah. oh no <laughs> of course when he's over there she should he should bring her straight to the pump what happened back there let's check it take a little peek a little peek in your she definitely picked up a smell. Uh, she definitely got fuel. Definitely got fuel. Smells terrible. Smells absolutely terrible. Might have water Oof. Might be. All right. Well, so, we know wow. it runs great. Wow. Ish. Uh, don't know how I feel right now. Don't know how I feel. Wait a second. Is this supposed to be up and then you hit it down? Emergency something? shut off. I don't know. Is it hooked to anything? That's falling apart a bit. Yeah, I was gonna say it's good stuff. Oh, okay. All right. So we might just not have stuff right. Huh. You're probably not supposed to run it dry either. Here's the deal. Yeah. If somebody works on these trucks, please contact us. <laughs> I can get this engine operational. This stuff and this, I'd like professionally inspected. Yeah. Not that squirrel can't give it a good squint like this. I think it'd be best someone who knows what they're doing. Get just, this bad girl dialed. Just double in. check our work. Yeah. Yeah, we can't have any issues with that. Oh, okay. Wait, what is that? Automatic PTO engager 9000. You never know. I'm going to start it back up. Let's find out. Is that air? It's an airline? So, anyways, we'll call it's the guy. Everything's I exciting. If that thing needs to be. We clearly just have no idea what we're doing with this one. All right, let's try and fire up the other one. Well, one out of two, not bad. There's no chance the other one works as good, but if it does... Go up here and look in the tank real quick. Oh, yeah, dude. It's really nice up here. Is it clean? Yeah, no rust. Okay, now I want to come up there. <laughs> now that he knows it's safe, he'll come up. Dude. Bad. It's perfectly clean. No. It's perfectly clean. Oh, it's absolutely perfect. Jump down in there. I mean, I think these were used not that long ago. Yeah. 2017, I think. Oh, wow. It's in great shape. Well, that makes it feel a lot better. Should we just skip over to the other one and check it? Yeah. Da, 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 da. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You got it. Whoa. This one should, <laughs> this one should be strong. Is this all, girl? This one's that long because I think this is the one that doesn't run right. Oh, wait. So one definitely didn't run when you bought it? One definitely does not run. Oh. Well, hopefully it was that one on a bad day. <laughs> Ooh, there's, there's fuel on this one. There's stuff in here. This one's a little dirty, but... Yeah, but jet fuel, you smell that jet fuel? It's, yeah. It's like diesel, you know? It has all that yeah, kind of... looking down here. I feel like it's not that bad. There's a tank drain right here. I feel like you put a little swirly-do. Yeah, dude. 
one of them little twisty pressure washers in there it definitely probably does it cleans these yeah all right, all right. let's fire this thing up i wonder if there's permits you got to have for this too so we gotta look into all that we do yeah we're airport owners Details, you know we yeah, need to be responsible sure. should we pop the hood on this bad girl yeah, yeah. pop it oh. oh it looks like it already is popped Watch out for the dang bees. Oh, that's a gasser, bud. Oh, oh look they the, bought by the, by the the looks looks firewall. Of, by the looks of the Oh, watch your head. By the looks of your carburetor. <clears throat> that's the oh, uh, Huh. It's got a two barrel on it. What? Well, that's I'll probably. I'll be nipped. That's probably repairable. That thing is full of rust, I can tell you that. So, yeah, we'll yeah, probably just get a fresh either. carburetor or what? This needs you got a your valve cover just been brother. open to the elements. Oh, no. Well, the hood's been on it. Valve cover's open? Yeah, the valve cover vent is gone. That's not bad, but all the rust falling out of oh, there. You see, oh, I have a market see. distributor on it. Don't touch that. A little Ford Blue. <laughs> all right. I mean, this could be worse, guys. We have a vacuum, actually. We stuff. just get a 632 from Blueprint, drop it right on in here. Let's see if it'll turn over. Oh, look at this, squirrel. What you got? What you we got? We scored, dude. Come around. Come around. We got two freaking... Oh, nice. Fire extinguisher. Holy smokes. And they're loaded. Dude, look at the interior on this thing. It is pretty clean. It's a high country. I don't know what that's for. Mm, looks important. Wow, this thing is clean, brother. Holy crap. All right, gas pedal, you're ready. Oh, did it come with a wheel chalk? Yep. Perfect. Damn. We're going to be legit. What does that say? Overfill, bypass. All right, I'm hitting the... the uh, Oh, it's squirting fuel? It ain't squirting fuel, but it's definitely not <laughs> locked up, which is always a plus. Use the power, Zach. He just wanted to get brake clean. You what, right now, if this thing starts, and we know we just are a carburetor away from having two running fuel Exactly. Trucks, That's a big deal. That's a big come up. I can tell you this, every bang you made in there, you lost about a half pound of rust out here. <laughs> we got to ditch this hood. James, you think you can reach this? Uh, or like wire? flex seal it. Combo on this bad girl. I wow, mean, this is way better. This is significantly nice. Oh, smokes, dude. Chain driven, big blower. Oh, that's Ooh, the fan. Look at this I mean, throttle buttons back here, dude. Nice. A little rusty. No big Damn. deal. Damn. Dang, this oh, thing is really oh, nice. It has a single point. So, this is the pressurized one. You just plug this into the side of your plane and it'll just fill that thing right up. This one's like your standard. <clears throat> you fill it over the wing. Right, right. right. In or in the side of a helicopter. So this is like a Blaster 9000 right here. This, this puppy, like you would fuel the Blackhawk in like two minutes tops. Oh geez. From empty. So that can really do some action. The gauge still has water in it. We got brake clean. We got brake clean. Uh oh, okay. Oh, here we go. Work your way up here. Man, everything's kind of. Everything's there. It just needs to Everything's out. there, that's right. Wait, should we check the oil? Nah, never mind. Why, why did you even say that? I said yeah, never mind. Ready? Yeah. Uh, oh, I got power. Look. Uh oh. I'm blinking. You're blinking. Oh, You're I blinking. Lost it. No, that's blinking. Ready? Ooh. Probably locked up. I, I think, think she's got like pressures. Yeah, that might be what's clicking here. Yeah, 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 maybe it's hydro sure. locked. Pretty sure she's locked up. All right, guys, we're back on the fuel truck. We did move it because we had an event in the backfield there. We're going to see if the engine's locked up. We got a little more power with us, a little more voltage. We got some jumper cables and jump box. All right, so first things first, we're just going to try and get this engine to turn over. Because if it turns over, then we know it's worth swapping a carburetor on. So I just hitting it on the other side of the solenoid. How about now? Oh, brother, careful now. Well, squirrel, you're gonna have to get in there. Do your thing. This is what we do. Arrest, squirrel's restoration. This is what we do. A couple red ants ain't gonna hurt. All right, you gonna try something, squirrel? Hey, she's in neutral, right? Uh, that's a great question. Fantastic question. She's indicating she's in park. All right, the key on? The key's on. Okay. Oh, see some sparklings down there. Oh, you alright? Oh, hey, you got it to hit. Wow, a lot of sparks, brother. Try it one. 
That's a lot of sparks. Golly, dude, there's a lot of sparks. You're gonna start a fire. All right, let's 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 take a second and revisit what we're doing here. All right, guys, we're going for a change of plans. The starter is not wanting to turn the motor over. We're gonna see if we can turn it over by hand, see if it's locked up. We may need to pull the plugs out if it's not trying to turn. They might. Let's see if we can, we can force its hand, you know? Yeah. Here we go. See this baby turns over a little bit. <laughs> Now the ratchet bending. Okay, it's tightening the bolt now. That's not good. Oh no. Well, hold on, guys. Let's get the plugs out of it. We gotta get the spark plugs out. Yeah, you think it's supposed to be a hydro lock? Right in place there? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that baby's locked up. <laughs> Damn. No way. You know what? A buddy of mine just bought five big blocks. Might be a little overkill for this. This is a Ford big block, right? It is, yeah. Well, I don't have one of them. No. We take one look at this spark plug. It's gonna tell us everything we need to know about this truck. What are we looking at there? Ah, uh, okay. Well, definitely looks like it's been sitting up a while. Doesn't look like it's wet though. Mm, that's a rusty unit there. I think we're on something, squirrel. Plugs are out. Hold on, let me just hit the starter. You don't gotta strain yourself. Let me get over here. Give it a little pop. Pop it like it's hot, you know what I mean? Yeah. All right. Let's try and ratchet it one more time. I think Come you're gonna on, have to really put you. some elbow grease in it, Dave. I don't wanna snap the bowl though. We're training this guy for free. It snaps, it snaps. Get down on that thing. Oh yeah. <laughs> Really? <laughs> I just feel a boat move. I'm going with my foot. Going with the foot? <laughs> See if we can get giraffe leg. Belt moves right here. Ready? Yep. Oh, yeah. Come on. Mm, damn. Oh, he's got 400 foot pounds of torque. Well, that bolt's got to be tight. It's, it's tight for sure. We'll put some ATF dent in the spark plug holes. Maybe it'll soak. Yeah. Enough to get the piston rings detached from the cylinder walls, and maybe we can get this baby revived. Yeah, let her soak overnight, come back with a big pry bar. Yep. Put another four or 500 pounds on it. Mm-hmm. All right, we return. Not one day later, but a week later. There has been ATF sitting in each cylinder hole for a week. Yeah. Get in here, put my foot on Gotta really thing. put the hammer down oh, on it. Oh, here it is. Don't fall down. Come on, baby. Spin for me. Mm. That's all. No. That was all <laughs> oh, the bolt stretching right there. That bolt's done. <laughs> Dang, dude. All right, Jackson, can you order us a uh, block? big block board? Yeah. Okay. How much is that going to run us? Probably about six, seven grand. What? What? Yeah. Unless you want to try to find a used one. Well, I just didn't think it'd be that. Yeah, I guess we don't really need a new one. Yeah, we could probably find a used one for two grand or less. That's what we need to do. We got to have the jet fuel truck. I mean, <laughs> that's, the more, that's definitely the more important one. Man. Damn. I mean, I feel like everything else is good. If it gets a motor, it'd probably be all right. Yeah. I mean, everything else looks good. Damn. Okay. Shoot. Yeah. Time to do some shopping. I don't know if this is a good deal or not, but I mean, I feel like still. Well, that one runs. Two fuel trucks for under 10 grand. And one needs an engine. Yeah, it's not that bad. A little more than we bargained for, but still, solid deal. So if anyone has a big block Ford laying around that's complete, hit us up. Otherwise, Jackson, can you hunt one down for yeah, us? Yeah, I'm going to hunt you one down, bud. Don't you worry. All right, we'll get these fuel trucks up and going, and then Bald Eagle Airfield will have fuel eventually. We're just trying to get to that point. Like I said earlier, not sure where I get the fuel from. Also not sure what type of permits I'm going to need or what type of certifications I may need, but I got the trucks. You know, that's where you start off in these types of deals. You got to get the trucks. You see a deal, you buy it. <laughs> Figure everything else out later. That's what we're doing. So we'll get her going. The fuel trucks will be up and running. We'll be selling fuel in no time. But that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Do it for Dale. We'll freaking see you later. Yeah.